Hello, this is Lionel. Another video to talk about messaging app uh, application on Ubuntu Touch. Uh, so let's start with um, a schema overview. So what you see here, it's messaging app really relies on several services. One of the main one is history service, um, which is responsible to talk to the database which are which is stored in the um, on the device uh, so throughout the the com QML component called Ubuntu history you can fetch uh, threads and conversations messages the other one uh, important one is uh, the QML component from Ubuntu dot telephony which is responsible to talk to telepathy of no which is a middleware to the modem, uh, to the um, modem manager uh, called Ophono. Here you can find the name Nuntium. It is specific to MMS management, but all is uh, low level stuff. We don't uh, see here uh, how it works. So only focus on messaging app. So this is a basic uh, schema. So how, how it is done? So as you see, we, we can start with the entry point. You will see that uh, it uses the components I talked to you uh, before. Um, the me messaging app is the entry point. It is responsible to, to get the thread, not to display, but to get the thread list that you see here that that view so to to understand how it is made we can find which is called history okay so to query the database as you see before the database here we we, we use some happy eye from from the history service which are uh, qml types so here it's called history group thread model that you can uh, you can um, with that retrieve all the threads uh, you can um, you can have it in the database with several uh, filters uh, we're looking for event type test text here you can see uh, you can uh, apply some sort filter sort order and to gr the grouping property how can we we want to fetch uh, all the data has. Um, okay, so this is the model, and the model here is um, is displayed by the main page component. The main page component is a list of view, kind of a list of view, enhanced list of view, uh, multiple selection list of view because it is um, a list that you can uh, if you hold and press on one thread it will allow you to select multiple so this is done with that that kind of component so you see here multiple selection list of view and the model thread model which is which is retrieved from the um, the the messaging app uh, QML component uh, what else to say so um, when we click on on the thread it is handled here you can see the show we pass some properties which will uh, we will see later uh, one the main one is the concept of threads one thread is a conversation but if you have a multiple sim it means that you can have uh, two threads for one contact for example for uh, that one for 555 I can have uh, one uh, made from um, my first SIM card and one made for from my second card. So that's why we have an array of thread. So we pass it to the um, to the patch stack, and uh, we uh, we display. So the messages is here the conversation view, uh, like you see here. This is a conversation view. 
the conversation view. So how it works? The same thing. That uh, information is uh, come from the history database uh, throughout um, history Ubuntu history. So it is rather complex uh, piece of code because uh, it is um, it was designed. It was designed to handle multiple protocol protocols. It means uh, that you can use uh, theoretically we can use that code to handle SMS text message and also uh, for IRC uh, IRC protocol. That's why it's pretty complex in the first time. Uh, for example, just to fetch some per participants. Participants is uh, the the recipient here. Uh, we always have that kind of a check. If chat entry active, it means that uh, we are in the channel IRC, RRC channel, for example. Uh, so you have always uh, that kind of checks. Um, you you will see in the code. So what the, what is important is that um, as you see later uh, before. I'm here in the show. I pass some uh, properties, thread properties. So as you see, thread is a property of messages.qml. And the first thing that is done, it is quite hidden. It is hidden at the bottom. Uh, yes. So you go through it. This is another filter to query the database. So here I want to retrieve all my conversation for that thread ID and that account ID. So account ID is um, is my my phone number or my uh, my SIM card if you want. Uh, according to this, uh, so by default, thread ID uh, take the first the first uh, one from thread array. So this is how to build the the, um, the query with the union filter, and that uh, kind of filter retrieve me uh, allow me to retrieve some information that you yes that you found here in the list view. So this is a list view that is not visible. It is only to retrieve um, more information about the thread. Uh, means participants to have the name, to have the the phone number. Uh, to know what kind of chat uh, room uh, we belongs to. Um, this is not used currently local pending a participants, but I, I think it's more uh, from the um, IRC model. And here you can find some information that we retrieve for the thread. So all that kind of, uh, of um, data are passed to uh, are used to be displayed. So this is not to display that, but only some information inside. The, this to display that you, you you have to to see that model um, here. So it's rather a complex one. So history event model it allows us to to retrieve the conversation view. And it comes with a filter. The filter is dependent depends on the current SIM cards uh, enabled, and different things such as the participant ID is. Um, it means uh, that we can filter for recipients. We can filter for the threads. How it is done? So initially. As you see uh, before, we use the history union filter, but, but here it is a dynamic, dynamic uh, way of doing, because we have possibly several threads for one participant, so we have to build it with um, with a loop, and to create the filter, and to apply uh, then uh, to to be able to to fetch some uh, some information here history event model. So hand can change, uh, yes, uh, okay, so several things later. Uh, what else to say? Um, 
the component which is responsible for the view is here message list view which take from a model from event model as you saw just before and uh, what else to say we can see that it uses as a delegate this is done with a loader we have depending on the on the context so that one i don't understand that one but the the um, the list that you see here the messages that you see here is handled by regular message delegate a regular message delegate uh, and this is where you can find uh, mm -hmm, where it is done oh yes okay so it includes it includes a message delegate but a message delegate can be either a, uh, where it is found uh, that's okay so yes maybe we you you have to to dig uh, deeper to to see to 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 know how the stack so basically message delegate and then after we load the uh, message bubble so the, the component for responsible to display is called the message bubble here okay so what else do we have here we have the composer bar Up. the composer bar which is responsible to add attachment to to load um, yes to um, uh, yeah to to load audio I forgot the name okay so to to call and um, let's see how it works Requested. Um, so here is a compost bar that you see here when you press when you type you will see an icon uh, arrow account a code icon and then you you have the on send requested uh, signal that say that I want to send the message that is typed here or with attachment that you have here you have here so there is some um, some processing here just to normalize uh, the attachment according to MMS if it's uh, MMS and after it is passed to validate to send message validator which is responsible to check if everything is okay if if i have something in the body if, if i have a recipient set etc etc so it is a special uh, this is a kind of loop and if if everyone if if it is okay we send that signal that we can retrieve here message sent no send message <clears throat> okay this is just that piece of code that is um, used when you you send the message uh, so several processing also to be sure that we provide the, the correct um, information to telepathy to telephony uh, we have to check if uh, we have the network if we have the sim cards um, the same sim cards as we used before so it is always rather um, complex to to, to manage all that uh, here it is when uh, I have a problem with the network in that case we create a fake event that we will store in the database with that kind of uh, method so it will it will display it at uh, at failed message bubble and in other case when everything is okay here this is we check if it is a ms group check but i think it's not working uh, not working well um here we use a chat entry to send the message so chat entry is a component from uh telepath telephony service from the lip telephony service as you can see here chat entry so you have some properties 
available that you use we use here so when when it is okay we have a, a signal that is sent uh, as you see you can you have lots of dependency uh, so chat entry maybe I didn't show you before chat entry is here we path it this is um, in 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 a direct communication uh, protocol like IRC uh, it is used when you you want to see if the, the, the channel is online and uh, if it, someone is writing etc etc et so this is a chat entry is responsible for all that uh, chat entry okay and you can see that uh, so chat entry emit a signal when everything is okay uh, I just have to on message sent yes here you can see that I have a connection to chat entry and the chat entry will uh, send signal message sent um, here or message sending failed if anything went wrong so I have to process some uh, some logic around every time okay what else to say so as you see it's a quite big code base we have more more than one 1600 li line of code but um, if you see that um, the logic behind it is okay to to understand after the the, the more complex is that because it is handled for several several protocols and SMS of course don't have all the the someone is writing uh, there is uh, someone offline there is someone um, uh, who sent who receive who acknowledge so everything uh, complex stuff are handled here but not used for for uh, sms application of course as you see here join irsc channel you have some some piece of code like here uh, what else to say? Uh, what else to say? So I think it's quite, um, it's quite okay. It takes some times to get into it, but uh, yes, if you if you are motivated, motivated, it's okay. You have to be aware of the model, what to display there. What to put here to be able to send something so just remind the the schema uh, so messaging app don't have uh, direct access to historydb uh, historydb it is important maybe to do i have it in my history uh, pull 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 that not that one yes uh, you will see on the device History database is here. It's a SQL uh, database that I can fetch, and after I can um, I can um, browse to see how it is made. For example, the first uh, history group thread model um, to, to 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 display the list that you see here okay come from here come from that uh, that table <coughs> you see account ID thread ID it is what I uh, I told you before and uh, the second one the conversation view comes from text event you have text event with account ID um, uh, some some thread ID also and you can retrieve attachment with that we have the path that is handled by history service okay uh, what else to say well I think it's all okay bye bye